In this video, I'll be discussing push-ups and some variations you can use. Push-ups are a great exercise to build strength in the pushing muscles, including the pecs, triceps, and anterior deltoids. They'll provide a foundation of strength for some of the most impressive calisthenic skills, such as planche push-ups, handstand push-ups, and the 90-degree push-up. Not only do push-ups strengthen the arms and shoulders, but they'll improve strength and control of the core, as this is required to keep the torso rigid throughout the movement. Push-ups can be thought of as a moving variation of the plank exercise. To get the most out of push-ups, keep the body in a rigid straight line from the shoulders to the toes with a posterior pelvic tilt. Bring your chest to the floor at the bottom and push tall with straight arms and protracted shoulders at the top. Push-ups can be performed with the elbows in, elbows out, or anywhere in between. For best results with calisthenics, keep the elbows close to the sides, as this will build strength more transferable to skills like planche push-ups and 90 degree push-ups. Common mistakes include cutting the range of motion short or arching the back. If you can't yet do push-ups on the floor with decent technique, a good way to build strength toward this is to perform push-ups with the hands elevated. The higher the hands, the easier the exercise will be. Gradually reduce the height until you can perform push-ups on the floor. You can also build capacity with knee push-ups as you work toward the full variation. Diamond push-ups will take the elbows through a greater range of motion working the triceps more. Place the index fingers and thumbs close together to make a diamond and perform push-ups. Doing push-ups explosively will increase the number of muscle fibers that are recruited compared to regular push-ups. Perform the concentric phase as quickly as possible so you leave the ground and control the negative. Lift as high as you can with each rep. Clapping push-ups provide a progression to jumping push-ups. This also provides a concrete goal to aim for with each rep. Initially start with one clap and increase numbers to increase the difficulty. I like to alternate between clapping in front of and behind the body with each rep. The triple clap push-up provides a challenging goal to work towards. Ensure the body stays in a straight line rather than bending at the hips. Perform push-ups with the hands facing out, keeping one arm straight. This will bias one side and help you work towards the one arm push-up. These can be done repeating the same side or alternating sides with each rep. Pseudo planche push ups will build strength for the planche and planche push ups. These involve performing push ups with the shoulders leaning in front of the hands. Turn the hands out to the sides to reduce stress on the wrists as you lean and keep the elbows by the sides with each rep. This exercise will get significantly harder with every inch you lean. To add an extra challenge to pseudo planche push ups, you can perform them lifting the feet at the bottom. This will increase the intensity and add a balance component. Perform a pseudo planche push up and lift the feet off the ground for two to three seconds with each rep. Note that you have to be leaning a certain distance for this to be possible. So if you can't lift the legs, it could be that you're not leaning far enough. If these are too challenging, you can perform them with the legs split as a regression. Pike push-ups will help build strength for the handstand push-up as it uses the same motor pattern but lifting only a portion of your body weight. Start in a push-up position and walk your feet close to your hands. Then bring your head in front of your hands while keeping your forearms vertical. 
ensure the forearms don't angle back. Like the pseudo planche push up, bring the feet closer to the hands to scale the difficulty. Like pseudo planche push ups, floating the feet at the bottom can add an additional challenge to the pike push up. This means you'll be lifting your entire body weight and adding a balance component. Lift the legs at the bottom of each rep and hold for two to three seconds. For best results, choose options that challenge you and integrate these into your program. Be consistent with these and overload whenever possible by increasing the reps or difficulty. When you've mastered the variations in this video, you can start working towards harder variations like planche push-ups and handstand push-ups.